Here's an updated weather briefing for the incoming weather. My name's Rick Shanklin here at the National Weather Service in Paducah, Kentucky. And here's a summary slide of what we expect for the next few days. Again tonight, another bitter cold night, lows from below zero to the lower half of the teens. Some flurries and light snow showers are possible across parts of the area, mainly the southwest part of our region. A dusting of snow is certainly possible with the system tonight. On Friday and Friday night, a winter storm watch is in effect from noon Friday through 6 a.m. Saturday morning. Snow will continue overspreading the area Friday afternoon into the evening. And the snow will eventually likely mix with sleet and then change over to freezing rain sometime Friday night. Minor ice accumulations are certainly possible with this system uh, before the cha uh, change over to ent uh, entirely rain after midnight and through the morning hours Saturday. Uh, and some snow with this system as well with uh, total accumulations generally between a half inch and an inch and a half. On Saturday, we should experience all rain across the area. A few thunderstorms remain possible. Heavy rain and flooding is certainly possible, especially across western Kentucky, southern parts of uh, southeast Missouri and far southern Illinois. High temperatures in the 30s to lower 40s. Saturday night, uh, the precip will end from west to east and could end as a wintry mix of rain, freezing rain, or snow. Uh, and then quiet after that, finally, uh, with colder uh, air once again uh, entrenched across our region. So taking a look in a little more detail again for tonight, lows sub-zero across the northeast to the lower half of the teens over parts of southeast Missouri. Uh, the snowfall forecast, again, a light dusting tonight, mainly across the western parts of our area, certainly possible. A winter storm watch covers our entire region from noon Friday through Friday night. Uh, you can see it's actually a winter storm morning to our south across Arkansas and Tennessee. Uh, the ice accumulation forecast uh, for the first part of the winter storm watch period, uh, less than a tenth of an inch across the area, the greatest uh, concerns across southeast Missouri into western Kentucky through Friday evening. And then overnight, Friday night, uh, an additional uh, 0 0.05 to a tenth of an inch across parts of western Kentucky into southern Illinois. Uh, so as you can see, uh, those combined generally around or less than a tenth of an inch is what we're expecting right now. Even that amount of ice uh, can have tremendous impacts as far as travel is concerned. But at this point, we're not expecting any significant impacts uh, to the power grid. Uh, but we'll have to watch this system very closely. The snowfall forecast, and this would also uh, include sleet for Friday afternoon and night. Uh, generally from a half inch to an inch and a half as previously mentioned. Uh, by 3 a.m., these are temperatures that we have forecast for 3 a.m. Saturday. We expect most of the area to be above freezing, uh, maybe along north of Interstate 64 would be the exception at that time, and above freezing temperatures uh, throughout the rest of the day Saturday across uh, the entire region. Uh, rainfall through Sunday morning, uh, again expected to be quite intense across the southern part of our area with upwards of two to three inches in those region, regions, uh, telling off to about an inch uh, across the north uh, I-64 corridor again. So once again tonight, another very cold night with uh, a light dusting of snow possible. The winter storm watch in effect from noon Friday through uh, Friday night. Uh, which is our main time of concern for wintry weather, including snow, a half inch to inch and a half, uh, sleet, and also some ice accumulations. Saturday, uh, rain, including heavy rain and some flooding possible, a few thunderstorms not out of the question. Saturday night, the precipitation will diminish from west to east, could end uh, as a mixture of wintry precipitation, and then dry and uh, tranquil weather, at least the way it looks right now, for Sunday and thereafter. So again, stay informed uh, via our website uh, at weather.gov forward slant PAH. Thank you for tuning in.